Today we are releasing Louisiana pine snakes that were hatched at the Fort Worth Zoo last year and head started, so we're releasing nine month old animals. My name is Diane Barber, I'm the senior curator of ectotherms at the Fort Worth Zoo. We're at Kasachi National Forest in the state of Louisiana. So we're releasing 55 Louisiana pine snakes today, which is the largest number we've ever released from Fort Worth Zoo on a single event. And uh, we started uh, captive breeding efforts in 2016. And since then, uh, we've released 154 snakes. We partnered for this project with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the um, U.S. Forestry Service, and then we have four zoos that actually um, have the Louisiana pine snake in um, captivity, and we breed these animals for reintroduction efforts, and that is the Memphis Zoo, the Fort Worth Zoo, Audubon Zoo, and the uh, Ellen Trout Zoo. The Louisiana pine snake actually did um, occur in the state of Texas, and um, we believe the population is extirpated now. And so uh, we would love to uh, release pine snakes from Fort Worth into Texas, but until we can do that, we are releasing uh, snakes here in the state of Louisiana. And they're in a protected area um, that has lots of good forested habitat. And this species is a, um, an important part of this long pine forest ecosystem. They feed exclusively on pocket gophers, which occur in these, only in these areas. Most of the time they're crepuscular, so they're out early morning and late evening. But our partners have found um, young pine snakes that have been reproduced naturally in the wild from animals that we have released previously two, three years, four years ago. So uh, it is one of our um, very important program species that we focus efforts and, and resources on and we are in it for the long haul and we, and we hope to be able to see many more pine snakes returning from our, our reintroduction efforts in the future and eventually of course be able to, to delist the species from federal snakes.